So this is a huge episode, a huge episode. I, I'm, I'm just glad that I had this feeling. I had this feeling that a war was going to break out, and, and it did. Uh, this, this probably is, I, I would say, have to see, say one of the closest times I, I have ever uh, had to losing a city in one of my LPs. So we need to get our troops in place here because uh, I think that now that Denmark and Babylon aren't at war, I think we're going to see someone declare war on us, whether it be Babylon or Denmark. I think more likely, more than likely, it's going to be Denmark. I think clearly Denmark has a pretty big army, and uh, we and and Babylon has a friendship with us. More than likely, if if Babylon was going to declare war on us, I think they would denounce us first. So I don't, I'm not worried too much. You know, I, I mean, I'm worried that both of them are declare going to declare war on us. That would that would end the game. Uh, but I need to. I, I think. I think I need to defend specifically this city. I know they want this city because this is the city that I, I that I that they just said. You know, fuck you. What the hell? Get out of my lands. So um, I'm gonna try to move a lot of my troops this way and protect here as well um, because I've noticed. You know, there isn't a lot of troops, a lot of guys that are kind of lining up on our capital. We, if, if I saw Babylon kind of, you know, aligning all their military forces right outside our capital, then I would know that that's kind of a, a strategic, strategical spot for them. They would want that. So, I'm gonna, I, mean, I know that's risky to not settle, to, you know, to not protect the capital. But really, right now, I, I think we got to do it. I think, I think we, we we're not seeing much aggressiveness from Babylon, to be honest. I trust them. I Weirdly enough... I kind of have to. I mean, really, if I don't, if I didn't trust them, the game's over. I mean, if, if, I'm sorry. If 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 they declare war on me, the game is over. So it's like, if I trust them or not, if they declare war on me, game's over. So I kind of have to trust them, um, because I mean, I, I just I just have to. And I trust I trust Nebuchadnezzar way more way more than Harold Bluetooth. I don't I don't trust this dude for a second. I know him. I've had experiences with this dude before. Um. So I'm, I'm gonna try to try to get my guys in a spot, and I'm also gonna move this guy kind of towards the middle to get kind of keep our eyes out, see if we see where he's gonna move his troops toward, or if Babylon starts to move their troops towards our second city, we'd be able to kind of uh, you know make arrangements and kind of fix some things up. All right. Anything else that we have to do? We're gonna get up another composite bowman up very soon. And uh, unfortunately, I'm losing a lot of gold. At this point, you know what? If Denmark declares war on us, I don't even mind. Oh, shit. We're, well, Harold just got up the Petra. Fantastic. Uh-oh, and the uh, our friendship is over. No, 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 no. I don't want our friendship to be over. Please, no. I, I don't... I, I can't have this. There we go. Okay. I was scared. I was... I was honestly worried for a second there that that <laughs> wasn't going to come back and help us. Okay. So I can build another... What else can we build, really, right now? What would be a good idea? You know, I kind of want to get up a settler, to be honest. Um, even though... Because this is a great spot. Don't get me wrong. This is a great spot. But is that a really smart idea? To have a, a city all the way up north, unprotected, without a road. We already have something settled way over here. And I'm worried about this. This, this distance from my capital is twice as long. And when with Denmark in the game, knowing how much... Denmark loves to have a massive navy and, and to kind of, you know, make these land slash sea invasions. Having a coastal city with Denmark in the game, in the same continent, I think is a stupid idea. Especially, you know, twice uh, as long away from our furthest city from the capital. That was a weird way to put it. I'm sorry, I'm retarded. But um, I, I want the city here, but I can't have it for now. Unfortunately, I'm risking Babylon taking this spot. If they do, they do. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'm going to settle this mountain. I'm going to get myself my gems um, and these cattle as well as the wheat. Get a bunch of nice farm tiles here. So let's go ahead and do it. It's going to take us six turns. And uh, let's just hope for the best. All right. And this guy's kind of coming up here. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and send this guy. Again, I'm not going to. I'm going to risk leaving the capital open. But I, I doubt that we're going to see. We've, we've only seen tension uh border tension between our two other cities not never our capital the capital is in an awkward spot there's a lot of rough terrain over here so and obviously i need to get a road up right now but i don't have the money for that i know that you know if i had the money the first thing i'd do is get the road up i would have got that up you know videos ago i, I haven't had the money to get the road up so 
That's why I haven't built the road, and that's what's really having our, our empire struggle. With a fourth city here uh, next to this mountain, that would help out a lot, Getting because then we could kind of connect a, a road, and it would connect our empire very nicely. It also bring some good defense around to us all. All right, yeah, you guys are going to stay there. Okay, and uh, i got to be careful of Dur. Dur is kind of in a good location, too. Okay. And you guys are going to stay there. I'll get my Spearman here and maybe a Composite Bowman here. I'd like to get a little bit more eyes out on Denmark. Maybe getting the Spearman up, up, up on top of this hill. Oh, shit. What the hell is Babylon doing with their Swordsman here? That kind of worries me. How bad is my military? If I got it up to a little... Oh, shit. Denmark's number one. 59,000. Okay, so they, they don't have that... They've got a little bit less than double, which isn't bad. We should be able to technically take that. Um, I've been able to fight wars on higher difficulties where the AI had like three times the army that I did, and I was able to kind of defend my, my city for the most part. Oh, shit. Babylon, please don't go to war with me. Please, you know, don't tell me you'd backstab me like that. That's the end. That's the end of the game. I'm gonna be honest. Babylon declares war on me. That's the end of the game. All right, and, uh, oh, shit, we could actually upgrade this guy. Oh, but I'm losing money. <laughs> that might not have been a, a good idea. Hey, but it looks like we're, it makes us look a little bit stronger, so that's cool. Huh, I'm actually kind of uh, rethinking that maybe, ah, uh, I can't pass this science back from Akeda. I know it's dumb to be going, like, all out with my trade routes to Babylon, but, uh, but I, that science back, I can't really pass up. And how, how what are we doing in literacy? Yeah, we're 7% behind. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, so what do we got? Oh, shit. Some shit's going down. Uh, we, need to, we need to change production. I think all of our cities need to start building some sort of, some sort of, like, building, uh, some sort of, like, military, clearly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. I don't really, even know, really know what to do with the scout. What city grew? Good. I figured you, you've got to grow. I mean, you don't got... You've got a bunch of access to food here, so... I don't know why I don't got... You, you don't got... Okay, so Babylon's protecting someone. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Yep, it's Denmark. Denmark gonna go to war with us. I'm telling you guys, trust me. Well, at least we're gonna get our economy back. <laughs> okay, so we're losing a lot of gold. I hope they declare war on us, honestly. You know, the best bet would be maybe to send this guy here to just defend that open spot. That would, yeah, defend that open spot. Let's let's get some production going on with the pasture. All right. Let's get the hell over there. And another caravan. Yep, going to need it. I'm, I'm losing so much money. I don't know if they're going go to go with us, war with us right now. They might think that they might think that it's too, too much. They might think that, oh, no, there's too many troops there. Um, I guess education. Um, although I would like engineering. It's only four turns. No, we're, we're too far behind in science. We got to go education. It doesn't matter if, if we go to war or not. We, we need education or we won't, even, we won't even be able to win the game. Oh, oh, crap. They're going towards a different city now. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's move him here. Let's move him here. And let's move this way. See, there they saw. Yeah, I'll, I'll fucking chase them down. I'll flank them. Oh man, there's a lot of troops. This city is definitely more defended, I think, because of the river. They'd have to do a lot of river crossings. Um. Oh, they gotta declare war soon, cause I I got that. I need that money back. I definitely need that money back. Well, at least we'll have one composite bowman on the inside. Come on, go to war with me. There it is. Yep, I saw I saw all those uh, icons hit. Oh, Spearman got destroyed. All right, so who are you going to try to kill first? Okay, first, uh, I might as well settle this city. I might as well settle this city. Maybe help, help out with the bow. Oh, no, I don't want to go to war with the city-state right now. Hmm. Hey, I got my money back, though. At least I'm, I'm making, I'm generating money. Cool. All right, so where are you going to attack first? Babylon might help me. Just by staying in my zone, they might be kind of helping a little bit. Why the fuck are these guys so well defended? 
Uh, did you go down honor? You must have gone down honor. Okay, let's protect my composite bowman. I guess let's build a farm there. All right, so this this pikeman's gonna get drilled, I think. No, maybe not. He'll get hit by this by this composite bowman, but they can't get meleeed from the north. He'd just get hit from this spearman. Okay, good. Let's get my composite bowman, other one, you know, up inside my city. And what else do we got? We got it. We need to build. We need to build units. We need to build units right now. Yep, four for a composite bowman. We got to. I wish we had our fucking Watcher right now. That would have helped out a lot. It takes you too long to build anything, so... We might as well just have you build something else. A market? I guess. Whatever. Alright, so... We got a lot of our shit back. Now, Babylon, is there any way you could help us? Is there anything you can do at all? Yes, we, we gotta do it. We, we've gotta do... Shit, that's a lot. You want, like, all of our happiness. I'll give you 15 gold and 5 gold per turn. Okay, we'll wait. Maybe if I uh, maybe if I take out a few Babylonian troops, they'll they'll do it. Okay, now you're kind of doubling back. Where the hell are you going? I'd rather you attack this city, obviously where all my units are at. Um, I'll take a chance and hopefully, hopefully they don't attack my second city. All right, come on, get the fuck out of my way, city states. You bastards. All right. We're on a hill? No, we're not on a hill. Let's do some damage here. And uh, we're going to want to be careful. Let's see. Let's let's do the most damage to whoever we can, I guess. If we could take this dude down, that'd be great. But, ah, we can't. And he's going to get hit by two composite bowmen and possibly two spearmen. I can't lose my pikemen. I cannot lose my pikeman. What I'm, I think I'll back him up and heal, even though he can't heal this turn since I moved him. Come on, baby. Oh, he healed instantly, you fuckface. Holy shit. How big of an army do you have? <laughs> Holy crap. Babylon, or Denmark does have a massive army. I don't think I can settle this fourth city right now because I don't have the happiness to sustain that sort of thing. Oh, shit. There's an archer. Let's stay safe. Okay, I'll get out of your territory and I'll heal here. All right, so let's take out this composite bone. Well, actually, it'd probably be best if we just all hit their their only melee units. Okay, yep, we're gonna have to go back inside the city, and uh, you just take out take out everything you got. Take out their melee units. That's what we have to do. If we take out their melee units, then we destroy their chance at at taking over. Nice. Oh, fuck yes. Can we... Ah, are you kidding me? Why? Negative 15 terrain bonus. Okay. Uh, well, I'll back you up inside the city. Now I'm more worried, actually, about uh, Busan than anything else. Oh, crap. We didn't even finish this plantation. Man, you guys are dicks. Let's wait a little bit longer. This river's going to help us out a lot when it comes to this city. If we take out a few more units... Yep, so they, they've scattered their siege there. Holy shit. If we could just survive this, I'd be so happy. There we go. There's one unit killed. Finally. If we could take out a few more, I think it'd be easier to get Babylon to join in. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Wow. What the fuck? Okay, you got to build a unit or something. I don't even care how long it's going to take you. Fuck it. Build a warrior. It's not going to help us out that much, but we got to build something. I don't think I can get this worker there. And All right. So you are in terrain that's rough. Uh, let's... I actually would rather kind of hit this uh, this swordsman than the warrior. Swordsman's going to have a lot more damage than anything else before he moves away too much. I don't think I even want to waste my time with this uh, composite bowman. And let me run away. Let's run away there. And... Here, let's heal this... Oh, I don't want to heal him, though. Hmm, are we in a good... No, this terrain is open. I don't want to attack this guy on a hill, and I'd... Uh, I'd rather just move the pikeman in. Okay, I'm going to take a chance. I need to get this pikeman over towards my second city to protect it as, as fast as I can. Why, where's Denmark's, like, sea shit? 
I, I and also I, I can't settle this fourth city. There's no way. I, I lose too much, and if I have to deal with unhappiness penalties during this entire battle, we're fucked. Can't settle this fourth city. We are totally not ready for that. All right, we can do this. We can definitely do this. Here, what would do more damage? This the the city's bombardment, or uh, it it does virtually the same. I think about the same, really. Uh, maybe this does a little bit more. We gotta take this dude out, though. Well, we gotta obviously kill this dude, but let's attack this spearman and then kill this guy, clearly. Actually, we should have killed this guy. I think he was getting a, uh, he was getting a, and like a, an alignment or whatever since he was next to somebody. Okay, let's move this worker down, to work those spices, get this composite bowman over this way as fast as we can. And let's take one more shot. Oh, shit, we can't take a shot at the swordsman. All right. Um, who do we attack? Can this guy even kill? He can attack the worker or the warrior. I'm sorry. Not even. I'm not even worried about ranged units right now. I shouldn't be. I, all I should be worried about is is melee units because they they can't win their siege without their melee units. Okay, you guys just uh, maybe just go back. I can't. I can't settle the city. That's dumb. And we'll continue to move forward. Hopefully my worker stays safe. There's a there's a barbarian encampment down there. What else can we choose to produce? I can't afford to build anything else but units right now. So uh, another composite bowman for defense. We're just trying to stay alive. All right. So they're coming. They are coming. Hopefully we we're able to kind of uh, we'll hopefully get there in time. Damn, this takes so long. It's not like I could have built a road, though, really. Honestly, I'm not really, like, beating myself up over that. I want to make that clear. I had no money to build a road. I knew I, did, I had to build a road, but it's, I, I had no money for it. So, well, what am I going to do? All right, come on. Fucking take it down. Are you kidding me? How is this dude still alive? Is he? He's probably, like, healing himself. All right, so now we will continue to move out this way. This pikeman's just, like, moving up in, like, open territory and everything. Got to take out, I think, this Spearman first. Even though the Spearman's weaker than the Swordsman, but let's just take him down. Okay, it's been long enough. Let's go ahead and check if Babylon is willing to join in on the on the fun. Come on, buddy. I really need you, man. I really, really need you. You're still asking for that. That would break my empire, though. I can't, I can't have you break my empire. Because it's like either Den or either Denmark destroys me or see okay good the AI is confused it doesn't they don't have a good location to where to attack me at they don't know how to attack me they keep going back and forth a road oh, I don't even have the money for a road and I don't have the surplus to build the road either I mean if I start on a road that would help a little bit road's gonna cost twice as much on all this rough terrain though. All right, what can we do? I can't, I can't sway from my strategy though. Just because we're like not doing so good, I can't just you know focus on building units and stuff like that. I gotta continue to press onward. All right, wait, who can I attack? Oh, that's right, you're coming back, you idiots. Okay, you guys just sh just sit there, chill. You're gonna chill there too. Rough terrain is the way to go. We have the opportunity of killing a lot of their troops. Who do we kill now? Do we kill the... Let's kill the warrior. Nice. And now this composite bowman. Oh, yes. That's good. That is good stuff. Please. Oh, my God. It's open terrain. What the fuck? Flanking bonus. Terrain modifier. Oh, technically you're flanking me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll get up on the hill then. I don't know what's behind the fog of war, though. That's sketch. <laughs> I don't know what's behind the fog of war. Hold on. Let's let's focus on taking down this swordsman. Oh, big hit. That was big. Yes. We're taking this dude's warriors or this this dude's army down. Holy crap. I could sit here and heal. I'm being flanked right now. Or do I put him on top of the hill? The hill is probably a stupid idea. I could put him on top of this hill and it'd be just as good. Let's do it. Put him on top of this hill. And it's 
It's just as good. Let's go next turn. Are you running? Oh, you're starting to attack the city. Shit. Maybe your plan was just to distract me all along. All right, guys. I'm going to have to stop it right there. Holy crap. What an episode. What an episode. This is this is the closest I've ever been to being killed off. I think, in, I think maybe ever. Uh, this is scary. I was not prepared for this. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.